Hey everyone, Sandy here, and this is, what's your name? Skylar. <laughs> Skylar, and this is Cosmo. I think you've met all of us before, uh, but today this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be going outside and showing you how to winterize a camper. Uh, the camper that we have is called the Grand Design Imagine 2800BH. Um, so I'm actually going to be the one winterizing it. So ladies, if you're watching, you know if, if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. Um, so let's get started on this. Skylar is going to be staying inside because she has a little bit of a cold. We don't want her to be out there. But um, I'll be out there showing you each step on how, on how to get your camper winterized. We, we don't want any frozen pipes. <laughs> what, baby? How do you spell alive? Alive? Yeah. A L A L I V. Now here we are at my camper, but make sure before you begin the process of winterizing your camper that you have already drained the black and gray tank at a campground or dump station. Okay, so now let's head, head on back here and we're gonna drain our fresh tank. Step one. See if I can do this in these house slippers. There we go. And the empty all my fresh water. That would be easy. On to the next step. Now that we got the fresh water tank drained, we are going to drain the water heater. Uh, but first, I need to make sure that the electric and propane and the hot water heater itself is all turned off before I go and drain it. Off my shoe. Okay, the electric is on, so I'm going to turn it off. Everything else is already off. Now I'm gonna drain the hot water heater uh, by first releasing the pressure and then I'm gonna pull the drain plug out. This step, you got to be very careful. Our water is still hot and it gets scalding hot, so I don't wanna let any steam spray in my face. That's why I'm wearing the gloves. I'm gonna step back here <laughs> Wish me luck. Not doing anything. <laughs> you gotta pull it all the way. Like this? Yeah. Is that it? You had it. There you go. Oh. Good job. No. Huh. Leave it where it's sticking out. That wasn't so scary. No, don't get in front of it. Pull that clip out, and that pushes the pin in, and then leave it right there in the middle. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. All right, now that we got the step of releasing the pressure, I'm going to remove the drain uh, plug here with this wrench. I don't know why I'm standing back. <laughs> Just a little fear left over from the pressure. Close that back up first. 
Now before we drain the low water valves, I'm going to open all the faucets inside the camper so that put some air pressure in there to help make sure all the water gets empty, kind of like kind of like the straw here. When you have water in it with your finger on the tip, the water's not going to go nowhere. Release your finger, the water comes out. So that's what we're going to do right now before we empty the low water valve. And there we go. Got those up. Okay. Here they are. Maybe wearing house slippers wasn't such a great idea for this job, but I'm going to take these off. Loosen them up here loose. Yeah, they're already pretty, pretty good. Just going to finish taking these off. After I get it drained, I'm going to put these back on. So we don't lose them. Okay. Go ahead and put this one on, it looks like. We'll wait a little bit. Okay, we got both of these drained and now I'm just gonna put these plugs back in. We don't want to lose these. There we go. All we're gonna do now is bypass our hot water heater because we do not want antifreeze going in it um, these heaters are located in different places I don't know where yours would be at with your camper but ours is behind this panel right here on our outside kitchen um, so I just got to take this off first and then we'll okay I got the screws out so now look in here what we got what I need to do is turn the cold and hot valves here off and then I need to turn the bypass valve on and the way that I do that these two I'm going to turn to the right just, just like that that's as far as they go and this one I got to turn it to the left to turn it on that's the bypass so we do not want any antifreeze getting in our hot water heater so this is what you have to do Now I'm going to disconnect our water line here. It's already connect, disconnected. And then we had to connect this air adapter, which I'm gonna plug this in to it so that we can push some air through the lines to get out any remaining water that are that's still stuck in the lines. Now we're gonna run some air through the water lines There it goes. This is what was left. And I already opened the lines in the bathroom and I can hear the water shooting out of them. Okay, looks like it's done. So that's an important step to do to make sure your lines are cleared up of water before you put your antifreeze in. Okay, now I'm in the bathroom and we're going to send some air through lines in here. Hear that? Loud. Yeah. Get the toilet. Alright. Do the shower. In the shower, I'm just going to let it hang down so no standing water can stay up in there. Like that. Okay. 
I am not seeing any more water flowing down in the toilet. Well, yeah, there's a little bit. This one looks good. Shut that off. And now we're just gonna blow out the outside water spigots. We've got the air hooked up and I'm just gonna clear this out. one more to go. This is starting to be a lot of work guys. <laughs> so as soon as uh, we get some air coming through I'm gonna spray all the water out. Here it comes. Not too much in here. Okay, right before we got to the final step, we had to take this big drawer out, which was a little tricky because, you know, you couldn't just push buttons on the sides to pull it out. It has these little levers here. And this little lever pushes up, and on the right side, there's another lever, but it pushes down. So down and up was the only way we could get this drawer out. So we had to take the drawer out to get over here to our water pump. This is where we're going to start putting antifreeze in at. Now all we got to do is go from our fresh water tank over to our water pump. And how we do that, there's this extra line here. And I'm going to put this in the antifreeze. And I got to flip this. And that'll bypass our water tank. Now all I gotta do now is turn the water pump on and let it prime to pull the antifreeze through the water lines. Pump is on. Here you can see the antifreeze going through the water line here. The pump is primed and now we're just gonna turn on all of our faucets so the antifreeze can run through. That is good. There we go. That's good. This is our last spigot, and after this, we're all done, except for putting everything back together for spring, um, which we're going to do that here in a minute. Put all our little knobs and stuff on. Okay, now I'm going to turn these. If you remember earlier, I had to turn them this way. I'm going to turn them back the way they're supposed to go. These two go straight up and down like that. And this one, I got to turn like that. And the last one that I have to put back to the way it was is this one right here. It needs to run this way. Everything's ready now for next time we go camping. And here are all the tools that we used. Um, this is a square bit screwdriver. Most campers require square bit. Got that. You need some pliers. And this little hose um, is an adapter that you hook up to your water line. And last but not least is our adapter that we hooked up to the air to put air through your lines and. This one and this one in the comments below, you can see where we got those at. So that's all you need, folks. Now that I'm done winterizing our camper, I just want to tell you my thoughts about it. Um, 
for me, I consider myself an independent woman, so it made me feel a little bit of accomplishment there, doing all that by myself. But um, in all seriousness, my husband did help me every step of the way. <laughs> I could not have done it without him. Um, and ladies, now you can see that if I can do it, you can do it. Um, but honestly, you know, this time of the year, it's a little cold. Um, I probably won't do it anymore. I'll just have him do it that way. <laughs> I can I can be in the house in my pink slippers on the couch, watching Netflix, sipping on my hot coffee. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was easy. It just, it seems like a lot of steps, but probably because we were recording it too, but anybody can do this. And I hope you enjoyed our video. Hit the like button and subscribe and we'll put some more videos out similar to this one. And drain it. Lost my hot shoe. Now I'm going to drain the hot water tank, um, and then wait. Turn over. It's not doing anything. <laughs> okay, we got both of these completely empty, and I'm just gonna. Tidy, tidy. Start over. <laughs> I don't know what we do after that, so I don't know what to do. Similar to this one. So yeah, that's gonna wrap this up. <laughs> don't stand that close. <laughs> this is starting to be a lot of work, guys. <laughs> As soon as uh, we get some air coming through, I'm gonna spray all the water out here. Karen's recording.